Hi, in this tutorial we will see how to read a digital input. Um, for this I'm going to make a directory now. D and I have saved all my files in the so Arduino MATLAB here. So choose that file there. So this is my circuit diagram. Here you can see that I have connected my push button to the second pin of Arduino Mega and I have supplied a 5 volt power supply to the push button input and the output of the push button has connected to the second pin and I have connected my LED to the third pin of Arduino Mega so here you can see that I have connected my LED to the third pin and my push button to the second pin let's see how to program uh, for this uh, setup in Simulink, go and click the Simulink library and go to new model Simulink package for Arduino hardware and choose digital input. So I'm going to read our digital input. So I want a sync. Go to sinks and pick a scope. Connect the scope to this and change the pin as I've connected my push button to 2 and sample timer 0 0.01 here. Click OK and go to tools. Prepare to run. And choose my board as Arduino Mega 2560. I'm gonna save this as digital read. So it's going to be digital read. Let's run this on our hardware. Change so infinite. Let's run this. The ma program is running on our Arduino. Let's check with the scope. So here the signal is zero. I'm going to change this by applying a digital read. So here you can see that the has changed to 0 0.5. Or it is running as one. And when I leave the push button, it again comes to zero. So let's stop this. And instead of the scope, let's connect a digital output and save the file as digital read LED. Digital read LED. And save again. Go to library browser and go to common and pick digital output. Connect the wires and change the pin to. I have connected my LED to the third pin and give OK. And let's run this program now. Before that simulation, update diagram and run our program. Here our Simulink is uh, communicating to our Arduino Mega. So let's check our program. I'm going to press this. See there? LED turns on whenever I press the push button. So the, the group kit also comes with a touch sensor. So instead of this push button, I'm gonna change the touch sensor. So here is my touch sensor. I'm going to attach the touch sensor. 
so let's check the attach sensor so when I attach this the LED turns on let's delay the sample time output here if I give a uh, 5 as a sample time okay and again gonna run this program so here it is communicating with our Arduino Mega let's give the input so here you can see that the slight change that's because we have given a uh, 5 as a sample time so that's the reason if I touch uh, for a one second here so the LED goes on for a uh, five seconds or a sample time period of five so here you can see there is a delay uh, when compared to our previous program you have to touch for a long time so it goes on and stay for a five second five press for a five second it stays there for five seconds. That's it for this tutorial.